Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of the Year of Cooking Canuck once again. Thank you so much for joining me. Before we begin guys about the microphone situation, tomorrow I'm going to pick up a really inexpensive microphone that I can use until the really nice one that I've ordered comes in the mail. Now that being said, I have some new subscribers so guys I encourage everyone actually to check out my old playlist. There's a beautiful playlist of old traditional Macedonian Maltese recipes and also Canadian recipes. There's a lot of recipes on my channel so I encourage you to look back and uh, take a boo at those. So guys, without further ado, on today's segment of Memories of Malta, I'm going to be making something called Stufat Talpulpeti Tatajij. It's a mouthful. Basically, guys, what it is is a chicken meatball stew. Um, now, a lot of households would have used what they had. So I'm going to show you how you can make a delicious, delicious thick stew with little ingredients, and it's going to taste fantastic. All right, guys, let's get to it. <laughs> guys welcome to the kitchen countertop as usual and as usual all of the amounts will be below in the description bar so what I have here is my minced meat to which I'm gonna add <clears throat> some spices I kind of want to emulate the Maltese sausage taste but with chicken so here I do have some salt and freshly ground black pepper I'm gonna go easy with the salt first because I always say you can add salt later some freshly ground black pepper. Let's add more of my mortar and pestle there. And then I have an array of spices. I have here some onion powder. You can use garlic powder if you like. Um, I have some chicken seasoning, paprika, just a pinch of nutmeg, and some fennel seed. And that's all going in. And these are all kind of synonymous with Maltese flavors. Here I have just a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Um, again, it's a bit salty, so we want to cut back on the salt so much because we can always salt this to fat later. So I'm going to give this a good old mix a mix up and I'll be back and show you what I do next. Okay guys, with your minced chicken, you really shouldn't need an egg as it is moist. However, if yours is dry, you can go ahead and add an egg. What I've gone ahead and done now is I've just added some breadcrumbs and I'm going to give this a mix until I get a good texture whereas I can roll these and I'm going to pop this in the fridge so they set and then I'll bring you back. Okay guys, my chicken mixture is all done and I'm going to stick this in the fridge just to firm up. Guys, I can't tell you exactly how much breadcrumbs to add to your mix. It all depends on how moist your chicken mince is. So keep adding a little at a time until you get the right texture. It should be soft, but not too sticky. So you can roll these um, into little meatballs or discs, and that's what we're aiming for next. Guys, after your mince has been in the fridge for about 10-15 minutes, really finely um, chop some parsley and add it to your mixture and then mix in. The reason I do this now is because I find if you add it to the wet chicken mince, it clumps together. So I'm going to give this another mix, pop it in the fridge, and I'll be back and show you what we do next. Okay guys, my polpetti are ready. Basically guys, what polpetti is, is like a little burger, or it could be a larger burger, or a meatball. A polpetti is anything that's shaped like a meatball or a burger. Um, they can even be made out of vegetables. So what I've done is I've made little meatballs and then just flattened them with my palms to make like little burgers. I'm going to set these aside and go on to the next step. I have two stalks of celery and some shallots and I'm going to finally mince these up. If you have onions, you can use onions as well. If you can get your hands on Maltese celery, or sometimes called Chinese celery, go ahead and use that. It has a very robust celery taste and smell. 
Now I'm going to finely mince some garlic. Now what I have here is a beautiful courgette or zucchini. You can also use what we call arabali, which is vegetable marrow. I'm going to go ahead and dice this. I'm going to add some olive oil to my pan. And get this nice and hot. Okay guys, I've just added my celery and shallots into the olive oil. I'm going to give this a mix. I'm not going to season this right now because we've seasoned our pulpetti and we'll probably season our stew or the sauce. Let this go for about five minutes until they get soft and then go ahead and add your garlic. Okay guys, my vegetables are getting soft and the garlic is getting very aromatic. So what I'm making here is what we call a tortilla when we add aromatics to tomato paste. So I'm gonna add some tomato paste. I'm trying for about a tablespoon here. It's good. Give this a stir to get the raw tomato paste taste out of it. Mm, the garlic and olive oil is lovely. Onion, celery, now I can smell that tomato paste. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add just a bit of hot water carefully just to cover my vegetables a bit I'm gonna let this go for another 10 minutes or so and then I will show you what I do next so guys my liquid has come to a boil it's been about five minutes I'm gonna go ahead and add a tin of Roma tomatoes or stewing tomatoes. What I'm gonna to wanna to do is just gently help break them down and let this go for about another five minutes or so and then I'll take a look at it and I'll show you what our next step is. Okay, my friends, I put a lid, just a jar, and I'm going to take this off the pot. And what I have is the tin that the stewing tomatoes came in, which I filled with hot water and a bouillon cube, a chicken bouillon cube. There it goes. So I'm gonna pop that in. Then what I wanna do is add a little bit, just a bit of curry. Believe me guys, you only want a bit, about a teaspoon, and it really does bring out the flavors of Malta. And I'm gonna put in some bay leaves, and I'm gonna let this simmer gently, and then I shall bring you back and show you what I do next. So guys, my broth for my stew fat has been simmering away for a while. I've given it a taste. I determined I wanted just a pinch more salt and pepper, which I've added. It is perfect. It is so good. You guys could smell this place. Wow. So now what I'm going to do is put my little pulpetti, they look like cookies, raw, right into the sauce, gently. Don't worry, they will not break on you. I guarantee it. Continue placing all your pulpetti in your broth. If you need more liquid, go ahead, add more water, 
stock, season to taste after the polpetti are cooked, obviously. And just leave this on a low simmer until the polpetti start to cook and get firm and they will further flavor your broth. So they're all in. And I'm gonna give this a very gentle stir and let this simmer. So guys, the stew pot is cooking nicely and slowly. The polpetti or little meatballs are lovely. I've tasted one, gorgeous. So what I've gone ahead and done is added my courgettes or zucchini. Like I said, you can use vegetable marrow or what we call arabali here in Malta. They're uh, like a ball shape and the skins are variegated. They're very light green in color. You can also use them. They actually stand up to cooking a lot better, but I don't plan on cooking these too long. So I'm gonna let my courgettes cook in my stew fat just until they're getting tender and then I'll bring you back. Hey guys, while the zucchini is getting soft, what I have here is some uh, chopped parsley. It doesn't have to be too fine. And what I have here, though they are not Yorkshire puddings, but they are artichoke heart bottoms. So basically the bottom of the artichoke heart. You can get these canned or frozen. Mine were frozen, I let them thaw. And what I'm gonna do is just cut them into pretty much the same size pieces as we had the zucchini. I'm gonna continue with the rest and then we will add them to our stew fat. All right guys, my zucchini is getting nice and tender. So at this point, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is add my auch, or we call artichoke in English. Auch in Maltese. Clean hands, guys, clean hands. And then parsley. Again, I'm going to give this a gentle stir and let it simmer for about five minutes. And then guys, the final touches. All right guys, we're almost done. What I'm gonna do is just add a few grape tomatoes for some added freshness and brightness. Let that go for a minute and we're gonna plate up. All right guys, it's time to ladle up our stew fat so let me go ahead and get some of this gorgeous stew start off woo, with the polpetti the auch the zucchinis making a complete disaster of course I'm using my hand on my mobile. Some broth. Work. So guys, all I'm gonna add now is a little bit of Parmesan cheese, freshly grated. Very freshly grated. Yeah. And some parsley to top it off. And we're all done, guys. Again, don't mind the mess. Thank you so very much for watching the Euro Cooking Canuck and Memories of Malta. This is a fantastic dish, guys. The aromas, the flavors are incredible. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Share 
comment. Love all your comments. My Facebook page will be below. And guys, we'll see you next time on Memories of Malta here at the Euro Cooking Canuck. Ciao, ciao!